Uh, the post game, we've got Luke Mazinski with us. A big night opening up bolts for the running game and a good night putting pressure on the quarterback. And we were talking about that to begin with uh, just off air uh, while the ad was going. You were able to get in the backfield defensively despite the fact you guys were only bringing two defensive linemen. Talk about the approach there. Um, we really focused this week on uh, fighting hands and working your moves and uh, getting to the outside, which I sometimes struggle with a little bit, but we, we got it down uh, as the game went on and we were able to put pressure even if it was right after right after we throw, we were able to get a hit on him and have that in the back of his mind throughout the game. East Mills threw it uh, almost 40 times tonight. They only had a handful of designed run plays. So did you know that was likely to be the case coming in? Um, a lot of the film from the years past have had that. And that's what we actually, we planned for that. That's why we went a lot of uh, uh, two man instead of three like uh, we usually do against a run team. You got quite a few pretty big hits. A couple of sacks in there on the quarterback. You know, how to feel to get home a couple of times? Uh, felt good. That reward after just barely getting it a couple of times was re really rewarding and kind of helped motivate everybody else to keep pushing. And uh, this game ain't over, and we can give a little more. You've got uh, quite a few different guys that can play on the defensive line, and you only had two at a time playing tonight, but you rotated people in. So who all was out there with you, and how did that help to keep people fresh? Uh, we, uh, Tanner Peterson and uh, Eric Hermanson were the ones who rotated with me the most. We worked a couple other guys in there. It uh, helps us keep us fresh, and if we're doing something, like coaches can easily pull us off, give a couple tips, and then send us back in. and. Uh, allows us to be a little more flexible, and that dealt, uh, helps us keep going 100%. We don't get as tired as quick. Early in the game, it was looking like it was going to be a shootout. East Mills passing attack. They were getting Dyson uh, here, there, everywhere, it seemed like at times. But you guys put the clamps down on that. What did you do different to corral him? Uh, we, we just we had a couple mistakes earlier on. We needed to step back, take a breath, and uh, really uh, hone in what we've been practicing and uh, start working on that and make sure it was hammered down. We didn't really step away from anything, we just perfected it. On offense, you guys were opening big holes up. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different guys that were competing for offensive line spots, but you were kind of the one really known commodity coming into this year. How do you feel the group played up front tonight? I feel like they did good. We got some work to do, but uh, starting uh, Alex first, first time and uh, Tanner and Eric first time, really getting a, a big chunk of uh, playing time on the varsity side, we I think we communicated well uh, and we were able to do what we needed to do and open up those big holes. Well, Skyler goes for I had him down on officially 275 yards tonight rushing. Are you kind of expecting that, hoping that will be a strength for you all season long? Yeah, we are. We, uh, we're trying to mix it up a little bit with end carries. And, uh, you know, but if Skyler can break those big plays and get find the hole, we're, why go anywhere else? So how important is it to start the season off like this with a win, uh, especially with some quality opponents coming up in the next couple of weeks? Um, it, it's huge. Uh, we have to uh, stay on top. We can't get ourselves in a hole. We have to just keep pushing so we can stay on top and uh, help our RPI and just keep winning games. Coach Burks had talked about the frustration of not making the playoffs last year and how that's motivated the group for this year. What are the goals and how fired up are you to come back and put a, a good foot forward yeah that's always in the back especially the seniors and juniors minds um, uh, we we're fighting hard to go to that playoff spot and uh, um, basically that's what we're playing for all year getting better uh, day by day week by week and we're gonna we're making that push each week can you give me a little bit of a, a picture into what it's like to be an Audubon Wheeler football player as far as uh, well, probably seven, eight years ago, this team made the playoffs for the first time in about 20 years, and now it's uh, it's turned into a program where that's consistently the expectation. And probably for most of your youth, you've seen a lot of quality football teams, and now you're a part of uh, some quality teams. Yeah, since since then we've uh, it's basically been an expe expectation. That's why uh, last year hit so hard. Uh, um, we're determined to, uh, every week to. Uh, every year, I should say, uh, to get to that playoff spot, and we're in the position uh, when we have the talent and the hard work where we'll be, we'll be able to make that push if we do keep doing what we need to be done. Coach Burks had made a comment to me a few weeks back about uh, adding an offensive line coach and Tyler Christensen, and uh, that was something that they hadn't really had on the staff before. They had guys that knew a lot of the other positions well, but not necessarily specifically in the trenches. Are there some things you've learned from him that have helped you out? Yeah, we work on a little more uh, footwork on uh, what uh, 
well, basically, what do I need to do to get around him easier to buck a step or a, uh, just a break the ankle or a hard side step? And it helps us, uh, I think, uh, get to our blocks and make a more quality block instead of uh, allowing them to get around us, say, on like when I need to uh, hook somebody. Thanks for chatting with me. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you.